Hello everybody, welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. You'll never guess what happened in literally the, I think, three and a half hours since I last, since I recorded the last episode. They released the HD texture pack for the entire game. It's it, like, I mean, it's not become 2017 next gen graphics, but I mean, you can notice it if we just go to the inventory screen, maybe not so much, but the character screen, you know, look, it's, it's like a rolled out piece of parchment or something. It's... It's amazing! What a lovely thing to just log into Steam and see. How brilliant. Anyway, that's... Oh, well, um... King of the Nords want uh, want to give me 7k for that guy that I just took. They're pretty eager to get him back, aren't they? I think I think that's a decent bit. We'll make 7k from that. Well, isn't it all looking blooming amazing? Like, I mean, as I said, you can never completely overhaul the graphics to look like they came out today. But it really... Just little things we'll probably notice as we run around the world. I, I don't really know, to be honest. I just saw that there was one, and then I logged in, and I noticed a few changes. Like, look, this is a bit different. And if we go to our character report, it's all just a bit brighter and a bit clearer, isn't it? It's like it was. It's, it's like it's the 2010s, not the 2000s or something. Let's find this guy and do a battle with him, because we just started a war with the Nords, didn't we? And we're probably going to want to look to profit quite greatly from that. And we're travelling very fast, thanks to... Well, probably Borsha in our team. Okay, that's not going to happen. Rebleck Castle, a lot of people in there. We had a lot of problems the last time we had a war with the Nords. With people, or Nordic Lords, using Rebleck Castle as a base to try and loot Rullums. So we could never really walk that far or travel that far. Of course, we ride, we don't walk. But we could never really travel that far away from it. But Kelvin Castle is right here and I really want it. And it might just look oh so more... Oh, eh, oh so much more is the sentence I was looking for there. Beautiful with this new upgraded texture pack. I can't believe it. I mean, as I, as I release this video, it's probably... Let me think. It's Saturday or Sunday, I think, I'm releasing this video. See, here we go. The moment we go away. But yeah, it's Saturday or Sunday as I release this video. It's Tuesday as I record it because I always try and keep a few episodes ahead in Mountain Blade. Um, so that if I ever can't record for a day, it doesn't matter. But, I mean, it's... Oh, I'm annoyed because if I'd just waited a little bit to record today, I could have got the new texture pack out the day it came out. And that's like, that, that might have scored a couple of clicks on the old YouTube thing there. But it doesn't matter because we're just having a great bit of time. Maybe I should change the episode title that I was going to release. Oh my god, they really want to loot Rutlands, don't they? Well, of course they do. It's one of the richest towns in the world. Well, they won't because I care very strongly about Rutlands and we shall not see it harmed. I think, in all honesty, we're going to be fighting all three of them here, but that's fine. I think we can do it. We're going to make... Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Maybe... Is this all three? I think this is all three. Oh, we're going to have this. See, look how much brighter this is. Let's have a look at the battlefield. I'm not expecting great changes. Um, I'm not really seeing any, to be honest, but what I am seeing is one hell of a good little piece of terrain for us to get going on here. I'm going to put our them over there. Oh god, this okay, we'll have the heavy cavalry over there as well then, and we'll have the light cavalry. They can just sit on the hill here. Okay, so I saw some horses that way. I'm gonna head over this way. I think I think we're all set up here as we need to be. Our archers are archering, which is very nice. Our light cavalry getting into position here. Our heavy cavalry just popping up here. Our missile cavalry are already there. Yeah, there's just a couple of them on a horse. Could they... They're probably going to be caravan guards or something, but they could be lords. If we can just sneak round and hit these lords... Well, they're separate. It doesn't look like a lord. Oh, it does look like a lord, actually. Well, let's see him de-shield himself. Oh, we'll de-shield him for him, then. Let's finish him off now. It's going to be a very, very, very good early start to our little thing here. Um, oh, God, he's got a bit of a pick. Oh, I think, I think we're stuck on the invisible wall that surrounds the edge of the map here. But still, that is Jarl Freychin knocked out. This is the rest of them. Who's this? This guy, who does he think he is? Right, okay. Um, it's going rather well. I think we'll have everyone moving in now, just as we do. We'll disrupt the line. The line is actually pretty disrupted in and of itself here. They all seem to be going this way, which is fine, because our light cavalry should get a good bit of action coming from the rear here. We should just see them at the top of this hill. There they are. Oh, it's great. And I am seeing... I don't know if it's just because I know there's an HD texture pack, and would I have known it if there was... 
if there if there was um, one before. Or maybe, you know what, I'm not even ruling out the possibility of there being an HD texture pack in my recording session um, earlier today and I just didn't notice because I, I don't really read the news section on Steam as much as I should. Normally I turn it off before it even loads because I want to play my games. Um, but really, I should because they're it all seems a bit smoother, doesn't it? I mean... I'm going to have to re-look at my footage from before. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I might have played it with the HD texture pack and not even noticed for the last three episodes. I did three episodes earlier. Normally, I do three episodes at a time. Anyway, let's talk about this battle. This battle's going a bit damn well, isn't it? It's going a bit extremely well. This is three Nordic Lords we've just dealt with here. And you know what we could do? These are the three that were chilling out at Reablet Castle. Now, if Reablet Castle has a small enough garrison now that this lot have been dealt with. Now, I don't think it will because um, I, I'm pretty sure from a minute ago it was about 180 or so, which I think is going to be a bit beyond us at the moment. But if, if it is takeable, we should definitely take it because, well, then that's just rolling so much safer because Reablet Castle is like a little launching pad where all these horrible raiders come to our village from. Anyway, that was excellent. No casualties at all. Many casualties for them. He's escaped, he's escaped, he's escaped. That's not very good, but we do have a few guys to rescue here. I think we'll take all of these. Um, certainly we'll take them. And certainly we'll take the Man at Arms, man. Four more potential Swadian Knights. Why would we not take them? That would just be silly, wouldn't it? Right, okay, we'll have Swadian Footmen out of this lot. We'll have many upgrades here. I think we take our Saranids into infantry, and I think we go one and one here. If we get any more Saranids, I feel like right now we can put them into Saranid Horsemen and then so on. But for now, I think we'll leave it there now. Light Cavalry is where this lot go. Okay, very good. And we could capture them, but let's not worry. Let's let them out. No, I definitely think I'd have noticed if the texture pack was on when I was recording earlier. Okay, um... Oh, man, this is way darker. Wow, the... So, it just looks... So, just look at our horse. Look at that. It's just... It's really good, isn't it? I'd have definitely noticed it. This is this definitely wasn't there at midday today. Anyway, uh, we don't need to click on that. Let's just leave that. Um... Very nice. I'm quite interested to see if any of our characters look different. I highly doubt it. Um, just in the sense of what they're wearing. Y you never know, right? I like that we've got another Swadian sergeant there. But uh, No, I mean, I, I, that was that was unlikely, wasn't it? Anyway, we just had a great little bit of war there. We knocked out three lords. Um, Rulans, I would say, is safe for the time being. What is that there, though? Medium-sized group of enemies spotted near Unasdak. Which is down there. Yeah, this whole Halmar situation is going to be a bit awkward now, isn't it? I think here's what we do. I need to have another go at Kelradan Castle. I need Kelradan Castle. I can't not have Kelradan Castle. So let's go and have another look at it. We've just defeated three lords there and then one lord uh, yesterday game time. Um, obviously in the last episode. I would say that it's a fair chance that we might get away with this one this time. A uh, medium-sized group still near Unasdak Castle. I mean, Unasdak Castle has a pretty solid garrison about it. Um, certainly, it would take more than a medium-sized load of enemies. Anyway, this is good. I'm still on the lookout. I'm still ready to break this at any time. Oh, God, there's one. Okay. But the thing is, we knocked four of them that are normally out in this area out for the time being. So I'm thinking we might get away with this. And if we do get away with this, oh, I will be a happy bunny. Let's say that much. Okay, he doesn't seem bothered. Our part, they know we're here. Our party's spotted. Um, oh, bloody hell. Oh, for God's sake. We never run. I don't care about Nord Huntsman. Bloody run, you sillies! Oh, almost misclicked and it almost cost us dearly there. Okay, they really like Kelradan Castle, don't they? That's fine. Should we maybe... De Grimm's going to have a huge garrison. Although maybe not. I mean, we took a lot of its surrounding castles. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a lot of the money that was coming into De Grimm now isn't coming in so they couldn't pay their garrison and maybe some of them have left. It's actually under siege already. That's excellent. I love seeing that. Um, we don't really need to get involved in it, though. I think I think the garrison of 349 against those lads, I think, was sorted there. So I'd like to go and have a look at Halmar. Um, I think that would be much better for us long term. Because if we can take these two cities, my good golly gosh, is the Swadian Empire looking a bit strong? 
I certainly think it's worth bearing in mind. In fact, you know what? We would be very silly not to go to Halmar via and as that cast and just chase away these medium enemies that are about. Because we are still at war with um, the Vegas and we are still at war with um, the la 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 la. I forget the name. No, we're not at war with the Rodox anymore. We just made peace with them, uh, didn't we? So we are still at war. I think it's just those two. Yeah, Nords and Vegas. That Vegas war is going to be over soon. It has to be. We've only got 12 Lords now. We lost another one. Kurgis have more than us. We actually have less than the Vagirs. And the Vagirs have how many? How many fifes? You know? Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, so we'll pop down to Unasdak. And then we'll pop up to Halmar. And we'll have a look. It may be conquerable. I'm not quite sure what the garrison does when, um, you know, when... A lord defects. Do they all stay? Do they all defect? Do some of them defect with the lord? Who knows right now? But just checking in as that castle. So it looks pretty clean. No, it doesn't. Hello, a hundred of you. Well, I don't think he would have defeated it. I mean, what have we got? Ten Rodok crossbowmen, eighty-five Rodok spearmen. You know, it's a solid little garrison, that isn't it? But I think certainly, Yar Alaga, you traitor! You bloody traitor, man! That's who we just lost, isn't it? Right. Absolutely no mercy for this one. No mercy for this one at all. Oh god, he started right there as well. Right, okay. Archers hold, everyone else just charge. Archers hold, everyone else in. This is definitely a better texture, isn't it? This is beautiful, this. This is very, very nice. Oh man. I really, really, really... W you know what? Why don't... We might... It might be worth us starting to do this in uh, 1080p. I think we'll start putting this out in 1080p because it's a bit beautiful, this, isn't it? Sunset, look at all the... Yeah, the game definitely didn't look like this three hours ago, did it? Oh, man, that's beautiful. That's very beautiful. Well, we're making very light work of Jarl Alagur, the bloody traitor. Hang on, Jarl Alagur, maybe... Would he have been the guy? Did he own Alma? Let's have a look at that. Let's 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 test that out. Oh man, we kind of got cut off by that guy there. Let's uh let's test that out. Let's well, there's not really much to test. Let's check that really is kind of words I'm looking for here. This is beautiful, isn't it? What a thing to just come out. I'm gonna assume this is to do with banner lords. They probably just um this might be what banner lords looks like with a with a few better character models or something. This could be very well what the terrain of banner lords looks like and i wouldn't be oh no we lost a sword sister but i wouldn't be very sad about that not about lo losing a sword sister about you know banner lords looking like this oh i'm bloody hyped lads i'm bloody hyped i'm flipping hyped for banner lords right now not so flipping hyped about us losing that sword sister that's a bit upsetting but she died a good death and she will make it in the sergeant as well crikey son couple of big losses here in this battle. A couple of big losses, but we're definitely going to win. We're definitely... Look how much shinier the end of our pike is as well. Or our lance, I guess it's called. Look at the trees! Oh, it's blooming gorgeous, isn't it? It's blooming gorgeous, this! Right, anyway, a good win. Two killed, and they were two reasonably high levels as well, which is a shame. Anyway, I think what we'll do with this slot is, yeah, we'll just charge. We'll just charge. There's only 11 of them. There's only 11 of them. And there's only 10 of them. Yar Alaga. I think Alaga, looking at... I don't know, maybe Alaga was a... Kurgit once upon a time. Well, he's, he, he's... There's traitorousness in his blood then, isn't there? If he was a Kurgit one time. I'm just saying that because he's got Kurgit units. So that kind of makes sense. Anyway, we'll certainly have a look. Because if he owned Halmar... The dwarves must have... The dwarves? The Nords, I should say. Must have paid him a ton of money to defect. Right, surely. Anyway, that was good. Unfortunately, he escaped. Um, right, what can we take here? Vagir, Vagir Footman. Or maybe he was a Vagir then, looking at this. I don't... Th oh, no, no, sorry. He would have definitely been a Kurgit. I don't think a Vagir Veteran, I think... It goes Vagir, Vagir Footman, and then Vagir Skirmisher, I think. So we certainly want to take those two if we're going to get... Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the level we want. Unfortunately, we can't take the Vega veterans because they'll go into the wrong. Um, they'll go into the wrong layout. But we've got we've got a decent amount of guys there. There, look at that. Two more knights. Very nice. Okay. Um. Oh man, it all just looks so much more pretty, doesn't it? So much more pretty. Very nice. Okay. Um. 
Well, onto Halmar then. That was what we were going to do. And as that castle is safe for now, Hawa has been looted. Maybe we just need to have a look down at Weya right now. Make sure that's safe because this garrison isn't as trained as it might be just yet. Let's be honest. 195 in Unasdak. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. We could, you know, even just do a manual upgrade of them for the time being. In fact, that that might not be a bad idea because we had that problem at Sanusta Castle where, you know, they were training our wrong guys and we were getting our, our Nords that would be great melee fighters were becoming archers and our what would be great archers were becoming great melee fighters by accident. And, you know, so maybe if we just got them... Okay, Hawaha seems safe for now. So maybe if we just got them to a point where... I think certainly we'll go to the Lord's Hall and we'll just... It doesn't really matter with this lot. Um, because they're... They, they, the troops that we got here are good either way. Uh, anyway, so way our castle will train some range, then we'll hire additional trainers. That's very nice. Okay, lovely. I'll come back to you later, my good man. Okay, this, this game's pretty beautiful now, isn't it? Right, now we'll go on to Halmar. And if we can take it, it looks like we're going to take Dahrim. If we can take Halmar as well, considering we already own Yalan and Kudan. Damn, son. Damn, 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 son. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be, uh, that'll be pretty, pretty. That'll be pretty, pretty. Man, it's gorgeous. Oh, man, it's gorgeous. Soldiers are ready to upgrade. That's what we like to see. So let's take Vega. Two more Vega skirmishers. Swarling Footman. Well, he will take one more infantry there. Sarenid infantry into Sarenid guard. I think that's the highest level we get of Sarenid. So we'll put him now up with our with our dudes. And he does look pretty cool, doesn't he? Um, with these guys, I mean, they're going to eventually... They're going to eventually level up again, so I can't be bothered to put them in the, you know, in the right order, because then when we level them up, they'll just join the others anyway. So eventually, when we've got a completely elite group, there'll be none of these, because they'll all be of a higher level and, you know, sergeants or veterans or whatever. It's looking pretty good, though, right now. It's looking pretty good. Now, one thing we haven't checked, I mean, we kind of just sort of brush over it. If we look at our budget report. I'm going to assume we're getting a load of... Well, we're getting no rents and rents and rents. But I'm going to assume we get a load... Well, we're actually losing money this month. That'll be because none of our rents are coming in. But I think we're going to get paid a bit of a ton uh, from all of this right here. Because we're, we're getting pretty rich for the most part. Rents from Uxcal, none. Hmm. Oh! One thing we need to be doing is building something at Weyar Castle. That's something we haven't done yet. We'll have a look at... We'll have a look at Halmar first. And in fact, let's just have a look at our notes and we will see if it was Yar. Oh, God. Ooh, yes. Yes, we kind of got sidetracked from this, didn't we? We got sidetracked from that as well. Once we've had a look at Halmar, we'll definitely uh, check that kind of thing. But right now, we want to look for Jar Allegur. Wherever he is, he'll be at the top here, won't he? He does own Halmar, so he is a dirty traitor. How well has he defended Halmar? Well enough. Well enough, let's say. Right, so let's then... Go over to Dhrim, where Count Tulug may well be. Because there's a lot of us over there. And then, you know, hopefully hopefully stuff should be pretty good. Hopefully stuff should be pretty good. And we'll we'll defeat him in single combat. And we'll go and we'll... Oh, oh my goodness me! Lady Elian might have had a, you know, a facelift or something with this new texture pack. Um... Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll head over here. Oh, it looks like we've lost. It looks like we've rather lost a bit, doesn't it? Yes, look at all these prisoners these lot are still carrying. Hmm. They are not to be trifled with, the Nords, are they? That's a bit of a darn shame. Oh, dear. Oh, dear for them. There's only 217 of them left. Anyway, Count Raffarch is over there, so we should be able to at least find some information out regarding... Medium-sized group near Sanuzda. Oh, God, it's going to be a bit more than a medium-sized group, just thinking about where Sanuzda Castle is. Uh, let's find out where Count Tulug is. Um... Oh, dear, oh, dear. It might get a, it might get a bit nasty, actually. Uh, Count Tulug is near Shibtin. And this castle is right there. Let's just make sure that's not where that massive Nordic host are going. 
if it is where that massive Nordic host are going, I'm not really sure what we can do. And Count Stamar, you're very brave, mate, but I'm not going to help you out there because it's just going to... It's not going to end very well for us. Hmm. You know, 300 or so of us on a... 300 of us on a... Battlement. We'd probably hold that, you know. Maybe we just wait here for a little bit of time. Maybe that's that's the right thing to do right now. Fortunately, we're going to see that guy taken. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like they're going back to Durim. It's safe. Right, well, we should head over to Shibtin, which is not a million miles away, I don't think. And we'll get on with this. What was it? I thought it was about here. Where is it? Shibtin, 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 Shibtin. To Shibtin. I thought it was in this neck of the woods, if I'm honest. It mustn't be. It must be somewhere else, although I don't see it anywhere. Kabul, Toshdar, Taldamesh. Maybe it's one of the... Oh, Shibtin. It's right, it's right there. I thought it was around here. Okay. Oh, for goodness sake. God, there's just so many Nords, isn't there? There's twice as many Nordic Lords as there are. Hang on, is that him? That was him there, wasn't it? Count Tulug. Come back. Come back, sir. Come back. I say, come back, you. Oh, what's he doing? Where's he going? What are you doing, mate? Is he going to attack? I, I can't allow... This is another reason to hate him, isn't he? He picks on the weak. 